So today I wanted to come to Parquet Fernando because I still really want a Diamond Mule Deer. And especially now with the new scoring system, I really want to get one for my lodge because even if I wanted to use the ones that I have in the lodge from the past, they have the old score, so it's just not going to make as much sense alongside any new Mule Deer. So I came to multiplayer just because like I've been hunting my own map and I've not had much luck. So I thought maybe we'd give this a shot. This server actually is Mule Deer Drink Time, so hopefully that can help us out and maybe we can get one today. But I did tease yesterday that we had a really big announcement for Meat Hunters, and today we can actually tell you that we are officially pro staff with Obsession Bows and Hunter's Friend. So I've been like wanting to tell you guys that for a while now, it's kind of been in the works, and finally we get to actually let you guys know that information. It's just super exciting, and there's actually even more to it. So obviously I'll be shooting an Obsession Bow this year, and you guys are going to get to help choose what colors it is. So basically, Obsession Bows does like custom colors and stuff with their bows, and they can have different like customization options. So we are going to run polls over on the Meat Hunters YouTube channel, and you guys are going to get to vote on like the color of the riser, the limbs, the cams, the string, uh, all that stuff. So I think it's going to be really exciting. I think it's going to be cool to like have the community's input on the actual bow that I'm using for all my hunts, and I think that's going to be really cool. So. The link to the Meat Hunters channel is going to be in the description as well as a on-screen clickable link at the end of the video. So if you guys want to go check that out, subscribe so you don't miss the polls because there's going to be several of them running through several days. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be really, really cool. I can't wait to see uh, what you guys actually end up choosing as well because there's some really cool color combos. And honestly, I think no matter what gets chosen, it's going to end up looking really cool. But yeah, I've wanted to say that. Finally get to actually let you guys know. And... Yeah, I suppose on with the Mule Deer Hunt. Decent little 361.8 goal for this guy. Alright, I don't know how I didn't see that, because I thought I spotted every duck on this little lake, but randomly spotted it by accident when I was scooting over through here. So he's like 190. And we'll get a little bit closer, and then we should be able to just aim like a little bit high. So I need to let my heart rate actually calm down for a second, but... Anything we can add to the new lodge right now is going to be a good thing, even if it is just a duck. But, there's that guy. And, of course, now we're going to have to wait till he floats over, which isn't the best thing because we're towards the end of Mule Deer Drink Time, but at least we're kind of pretty much at the lake that I want to hunt right now. Try to get to him, like, as soon as possible so we can get on to hunting Mule Deer, but that is, I think, a smaller diamond. I'm pretty sure they get to, like, 0.47 or something, but actually... Kind of a cool way to shoot him. I basically shot him in the uh, like the pose for the mount. So that's kind of cool. But let's go ahead and get over to this lake and hopefully get to at least check the entire thing before Mule Deer are done drinking because it actually does take a while to get around the entire thing. This is the saddest herd of bucks. That's the biggest one, I think. So I guess... We'll try to get that. Not sure I'd zero for 75 on purpose so that I wouldn't hit too high and get his brain just for, you know, trying to manage keeping the full bonuses, but not that it really matters when he's at best like a small silver. Yeah, not bad though. Kept all the bonuses since we kept that shot low enough to miss the skull. But um, yeah, only need another 100 score to reach gold. So it looks like the mule deer up here aren't a whole lot better, but down at that last lake, I wasn't even finding like any more mule deer in general. Not just that they were small, they just weren't there. Which is kind of weird, but I don't really know. But we might as well take that guy while we're heading over here, and I mean, maybe we'll run into more. We still have a little while left till they're done drinking. But yeah, uh... I think that's actually smaller than the other one. A little bit about the same, but I think it's actually even smaller. Hopefully we can maybe get a decent mule deer at some point here. Well, that's a decent red deer, I guess. I don't know why he's even there. Huh. I also don't know how he dropped, but they should be resting right now, which they rest near here. I guess I could have spooked him from somewhere. Oh, yeah, using the wrong gun will definitely do that. I didn't even realize I did it. 
Should have been pretty obvious by how much ammo I had left with the fact that I didn't immediately reload, but I totally missed that. Well, at least that is a decent mule deer because we are pretty much at the end of their drink time. So, good to get one. Good to use the proper weapon on an animal as well. But I do think I might switch servers because there's just not a whole lot to do on Parquet after like noon water buffalo drink for a little longer but you know as broken as they are right now I don't really want to mess with those so I'm probably going to see if I can find one either again mule deer drink time or just earlier in the morning in general and we can uh, see what's out here but yeah good to see a mule deer that has more than like two inches of antler still actually is the lower weight estimate I would say he's probably high trophy rating for his weight because usually somewhere in this area they can have the smaller rack too. So that's kind of cool. But we are going to go ahead and try another server just to change it up because I don't really love hunting parquet like for their rest zones. This dead forest area is kind of all I know to do and I don't know. I'd rather see if I can find one with drink times. So I just spooked a gray puma. I saw he was gray. He's right there. And he's max weight. I know I had his track. He's 86 to 105. But I haven't been able to spot him. And I couldn't get him there uh, either. And he's going to probably give us a chance here. And he's just a mythical, but still. Pretty cool. We'll see if we can go ahead and get him while he's trotting across here. Ooh. <laughs> All right. I don't know what shot that was, but that looked pretty cool. Just... Insta dropped him. I really love the 7 mil. I don't think the 30 out 6 would have done that. That was pretty cool. I like that. But yeah, I may actually keep that for the lodge for now just because we're going to have multi mounts to do again. Not bad. That was stomach, liver, and double lung. <laughs> Shot him with his eyes closed, but I have to screenshot that. That's interesting. But yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and send that to the lodge. We might as well have it for the blacktail multi mounts or. Anywhere else, really? Ooh, no way. There's an albino red deer female up there. I really wish it was a stag, but still. We're going to try to get her. Their zone's over. And I don't know where they're going to go to, and that's going to be a really tough shot. And I don't I don't like it with the branches and stuff. I may have to go track them, because I do want that. But I'm not really sure I'm getting... Well, maybe I am. If she goes the same way that one is... We might be able to get a shot, like, between those trees there. I'll try to position to where I can do that. And just hopefully that's what she's going to do. I mean, animals do kind of all path the same way in this game. So I don't know. I think she's going to, actually. We'll see if we can get this. Ooh. We got her. <laughs> That was, like, close to 400 meters, and I wanted to, like, check the map and see how far it was. Or even just switch to my rangefinder binoculars, but I was afraid she'd walk through that little opening. That was pretty cool. I'm glad we got that. Looks like she died quite nicely as well. Doesn't have, like, your head or anything buried. Got the fleeing spotting still on there because she ran out of render, but... Pretty cool. Actually, that was too far back. Liver stomach. Still, though, the liver counts as a vital organ, so we got the full score out of her. Not that there is anything. Uh, females on the new scoring system are always going to be zero and no metal. But definitely for multi-mounts, we want to have that. Well, this might get interesting. Hopefully that's not one of those diamond level 6 buffalo, but he's obviously not too thrilled with me. So I'm going to try to catch him when he goes through here. That should work pretty good. And I really don't know, because I know the score estimate is messed up, so it said he was 134 to 169 or whatever the uh, score estimate was, but I've seen them with the higher estimate score way lower, so... Um, Alright, that's bronze apparently. Even still, not even close to inside the estimate, so... Trophy rating still makes pretty much no sense, but... That's uh, kind of what we're dealing with right now. That's kind of cool. Good sized dilute mule deer, and I know his zone's over, so. Completely blind shot. <laughs> Could have hit the brush. Maybe got him. Actually, 
Looks like we did, because there's hunting pressure, but... Yeah, I figured he was just going to trot away soon, because... I knew the mule deer just left. I saw some of them, like, trotting out of here. And I really didn't want to chase him for a long time, because... He's not that special, but... I may actually keep that for the lodge, just because... For the moment, I don't have a lot of stuff, and... The mule deer can go in a lot of the different plaques and platforms, so... We could definitely find a spot for that for the moment. But yeah, looks like we got maybe double lung or something. It's high bleed rate. I actually thought I may have been a little low because he was like 250 meters or something. 234. That's a little bit weird. But he's just under gold. It's 3, 341. He's 332. But at least he's actually like a decent looking mule deer. I can have that in my lodge and not be sad about how small his antlers are. But the host left, so I think I'm going to reset the time and maybe try this lake again, because it was really bad on that last server we tried. Alright, unfortunately that's the track I had. I hit a, a max weight track on my way down here, but at least I'm pretty sure that'll be the same one. I won't spot anything. I'll go back and uh, get that. Oh, there's two of them. I'm only going to be able to get the one. But... I assume... Yeah, he's also the max. So... We have him spotted. The track I picked up was this one. So we know it's not the one we just spotted. We'll stay on the track and then go down and if our deer that we actually got is glowing blue, then we know it was him for sure. And yeah, he's glowing. So that's definitely the track we had. At least we're not going to be going on adventures track and deer that we have already seen. I think that's our best one so far, though, just shy of 400. Maybe that's going to be a good sign for what's to come in the rest of this hunt. So, that's a mythical water buffalo, and honestly, I probably shouldn't even shoot it, because I don't know the whole deal with, like, whether the diamonds are fake or legit, but he just looks good. Like, he looks like he's got good horns, so I'm going to go for it. If he makes diamond, we'll mount him. If not, obviously, no big deal, but let's just get that while he's broadside. That actually get a lung? Yeah, I guess it, it must have, because it wasn't too far back. I thought maybe it didn't penetrate, but I suppose single lung at that range, he's just going to die really slowly. But yeah, I don't know. If he makes diamond, I guess we'll uh, we'll keep him. So, he is actually a diamond, 199. And, I don't know, pretty decent looking. Shot looks actually pretty good. It wasn't an issue. I like that, uh, that angle, but yeah, I mean, diamond water buffalo, I don't know exactly what that means, but we'll take it. But yeah, I think that is going to have to do it for this video, and I set everything up in the lodge, and I kind of like what we have going here. We have, like, the Leighton, Parquet, and Medved all in the same wall, and it all kind of, like, fits together. I like it. I think I'm going to enjoy actually mixing the reserves together and seeing what kind of cool sort of, not displays necessarily, but kind of things we can set up with all that, but... We have our 199 Buffalo, the 4.6 Cinnamon Teal, which I really wish they'd display like out to three decimal points so we could actually see like if it was any bigger than pretty much any other lower diamond Cinnamon Teal, but for now that's what we have. We got our Albino Red Deer in here, which eventually is going to go hopefully with a diamond or a rare stag in that multi-mount, but for now she's just here. And the Dilute Mule Deer, which, you know, not too bad. He looks actually decent. Like a mule deer, which is a good thing compared to a lot of the other mule deer. But yeah, pretty decent little hunt. And uh, again, make sure you check out Meat Hunters for all the polls and stuff that are going to be happening in the coming days. So there's going to be a clickable link on screen here in just a second because that is going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.